What's going on guys? Okay, so in this video we're going to be talking about the difference between bulking and cutting and also the approach you need to be taking for either of the two. So before I get into the specifics, let me go over a big misconception a lot of people have about these two and that's the fact that a lot of people are under the impression that you can go ahead and lose fat or burn fat and gain muscle at the same time and that's very, very tough to do. I almost want to say it's impossible to do. There's been plenty of studies out there that have shown that in order to gain the muscle, you have to be in a calorie surplus, and to lose the fat, you have to be in a calorie deficit. So those two do not go hand in hand. One, you're eating more. Two, you're eating less. And so that's why my opinion is that it's very, very hard to go ahead and be able to burn fat and gain muscle at the same time. And that's why these two different categories are put in place, the bulk and the cut. And so let's start with the first category, which is the bulk. If you want to bulk, if you want to gain muscle, what you're going to have to do, like I just said, is be in a calorie surplus. You're going to have to eat more than you're burning. And so in that case, your carb intake is going to be pretty high, your protein intake will be moderate, and your fat intake will also be moderate. Now when it comes to the weight training for the bulk, you're going to want to do medium to high weight, the hypertrophy stage if you watched one of my previous videos, and for that you'll want to do anywhere between 3 to 4 sets, anywhere between 8 to 12 reps, and then that's going to be your ideal range for the weight training. Now the other category, which is your cutting, that's where you want to be in the calorie deficit. So with the calorie deficit, you need to be burning more calories than you're taking in. And so now for the weightlifting approach, you want to go very high volume. So in that case, you want to do anywhere between two to three sets, but 15 to 20 reps with a low to medium weight. And then that's going to really keep that endurance up and help you burn maximum amount of calories and maintain that muscle. And that's what's going to help you cut and burn the fat. Now, that's your bulking and cutting approach. A lot of people, what they'll do is they'll bulk for four to six months, typically in the fall and the winter time, and then they'll cut, get shredded um, for the spring and summer time. And so you don't have to do that. That's just what a lot of people do. I myself do, obviously. I don't want to be bulking during summertime, hitting the beach, not looking my best. Um, but yeah, I hope that helped you guys out. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave comments down below for whatever video you'd like to see next. And I'll see you in the next one.